What is up you guys, Lover 101 back here again with a new review. And this one is going to be a Boko. So, without further ado, let's get started. Boko is a mixed traffic diesel engine who lives on the Northwestern Railway. Boko is based off a British Railway Class 28, built in 1958, has a top speed of 70 miles per hour. Since Boko was able to pull passengers and freight, Bill and Ben thought this was a good idea, a good opportunity to strike, and Boko accidentally took their China clay trucks. Bill and Ben used their identical looks to make it seem like they were appearing and disappearing around Boko, which worked. Edward was nearby and soon put a stop to it. Ben Boko, Ben Boko's next adventure led him to meet Duck, who doubted Boko's worth ethic. Boko easily proved him wrong by taking a load of trucks to Tidmouth. Boko met up with Edward at Tidmouth along with an obnoxious James who was unpleasant towards Boko. He soon got his comeuppance that, thanks to a swarm of bees in the railway series book Buzz Buzz. In the future, he had many more adventures like introducing Old Stuck Up to the railway, gave Gordon, gave, gave Gordon a hand when he had collapsed fire bars, and ran the branch line for Edward when his bogey snapped. After hearing this, you can conclude that Boko is a very reliable and dependable individual. So let's take a look at the model here real quick. Uh, Boko's livery is, um, in the railway series, Boko's livery is uh, dark green with yellow warning panels where his face should be. In the railway series. In the TV series, he does not have yellow warning panels. In the TV series, he's presented as he is now, just with a red buffer beam. Front and back, buffer beam. And he has, uh, um... I'm not really sure what that is. I really should have uh, made sure I knew what it was before I... I think it's like a Northwestern Railway symbol, or a British Railway symbol. But, it's very essential to Boko, considering he's like... He's a British Railway um, diesel locomotive, class 28. Uh, I think he was designed by the Metropolitan Works. Correct me if I'm wrong. And he's he's, he's got the classic Boko face in the TV series, which is very accurate. And he's got the white top, um, 3D v details on the top, 3D attributes, which I really like. Some um, models of Boko just have like those drawn on, and and his number was uh, his number was originally like something else, but in the TV series it's like D five seven zero two on both sides. And I just love the face. The face looks very accurate to the TV series Boko. I mean, they forgot like one thing, which is like the red buffer beam, but that's pretty much it. So, yeah, so, back to the paper, which I had written down, um, uh, yeah, Boko, um, he's, he's very thin, very, very thin model, skinny, very long, uh, compared to normal Ertles that you'd find around, there goes Gordon, yeah, I'm pretty impressed with the model, though, he looks really good. Yeah, apart from that, a few books in the Railway series, and then, like, seasons 1 through 5 in the TV series, he's never really seen that much anymore, and it's just really sad, because, like, hearing all that information about him, he really is a good character. Yeah, and it's kind of sad to hear that they wouldn't do anything else with him, so... Um, yeah. So, overall, I give, uh, this character a 9.5 out of 10. And the point five factor is actually sort of a compliment on Boko's part. The point five is because I'd like to see him appear more in like more modern specials and episodes, even if he's in CGI. We've seen like Daisy in CGI and like Great Race or the Legend of the Lost Treasure. So I just like to see him appear more because again, like seasons one through five in the TV series, he isn't really seen that much anymore. Well, that was a review, so uh, Earl Level 101 signing off, and thank you for watching. Uh, the next review will be of the Troublesome Trucks, so keep an eye out for that. So, thanks for watching, and have a good day.